Okay, somebody was recently asking me uh, here uh, on YouTube, what is the biggest sable palm we grow? Well, we have a lot of sables in the ground, but they're not necessarily big sables. So that's a sable miner. So that's one of them. Okay. And uh, you know, this isn't really sable growing country up here. You uh, palm growers in the deep south, because they like high humidity and extremely high heat. But a lot of people do grow sable miners, and there's a few people that grow sable palmetto, and a few others as well. The uh, foolproof palms up here long term are Trachycarpus fortunae. Not saying that sable miner isn't long term, but they definitely grow at a slower pace this far north. Okay, so there's a sable miner. Unfortunately, that one dried out in the summertime. Look at it, it's recovering, but it's, it's looking pretty sad. It's just couldn't get enough water. There's a lot of plants that suffered in the summer. Look at that crocosme all burnt up, buddleia burnt up. It's just, it was a sad summer, man, for, uh, for plants, that's for sure. So let's, um, let's go look at another one we have here and I'll make this quick. Anyway, we did, did have some good rain yesterday, which was totally awesome. So we have another one here, it's Cable, Sable Casarium and, uh, <laughs> Neglected all summer, watered very little, and uh, that's made it grow even slower. If we had more water with it, it would have put on more growth because we definitely had the heat this summer. So, um, get in here. There's a little sable in there too. Okay, so here's another one. Get these ferns out of the way. These ferns are kind of encroaching. I'm gonna have to do some clipping in here. Anyway, so there's sable. Cassarium, Cassierum, whatever you want to call it, and uh, growing nice stiff fronds on this thing. Actually, I love the fronds on this palm, but I'm going to have to get in here and uh, cut back these western sword ferns because they, they take over, right? And then they're casting shade as well when they, when they overgrow uh, on top of this palm. Here's some sables in here too. These are sable miner planted as little seedlings, and they're doing well too. So sable underneath here too. So we have a lot of sables in the garden, but like I say, they're not big sables. So there's another one of our sable palms and uh, that's what it's looking like here. Uh, September, we're past mid-September now and uh, you can see it's actually probably happy that it's, that it's rained out. Now it's getting some water. All right, anyway guys, thanks for watching. Remember when you're planting sables, put them in full sun and give them lots of water. They like that for sure. And this is a very dry area in the summer, which kind of sucks for sables. Cheers.